Welcome to my new YouTube video. This time we'll be talking about BIOS passwords. The reason for it is I just bought a new laptop on eBay. It came over here, that's my new Alienware laptop. I bought it as a spare and repairs and there were a couple of issues with it. There was a problem with a cable that's a little ribbon that's going over here behind the keyboard and it's connecting the uh, screen with the uh, rest of the rest of the laptop. It was a bit loose. So I fixed that, I fixed the graphic card by changing it to the new one. I fixed the ribbon, so now it goes to the laptop properly and it shows everything on the screen. So it's uh, booting itself properly. Other thing I fixed, I've just noticed that the reason why the graphics card stopped working, why the graphics card uh, overheated on the laptop was that someone was actually cleaning it and when they've cleaned it inside from all the dust and stuff they just forgot to put the fan cable back again so basically there was no cooling for the graphic card and graphic card overheated so i've got all these problems resolved now and it's uh, technically working however i've tried to pull it up and while i'm switching it on Starts loading Windows. Yeah, so it starts putting Windows, and at this point, when it comes to a login screen, I can't log in because previous user haven't told me what the password is on it, and I don't know it. So what I will try to do, I will just try to go around it somehow. Yeah, so here is the Windows login screen. And there's a user Steve over there. I don't know who the Steve is. I don't know his password. If I'll try to have it blank, it says there's no password. Um, I don't know. Admin. Don't work. Um, I don't know. Alienware. Don't work. Steve? No, it's not Steve. So I don't know his password. However, I'll try to access the laptop somehow because I don't want to install a system from the scratch. I think the one that's there is fine. I just want to access this uh, laptop and see if it's okay. So what I've got here, I've downloaded one of those here and boost CDs from the, from the internet. And I'll give it a go now. Right, so this goes here. I'll restart the laptop. I'll enter. I'll enter the BIOS. Make sure that it will start from the CD-ROM. Well, I don't know if it's just here on the top, but you can basically use the minus key or shift plus to get it up and down. Once you're happy with that, go to exit, exit saving changes, confirm what you're doing, and now it will start from the, from the optical drive instead. So now instead of booting from the system, we're just booting from the here and boot CD. And here is our menu. There's an option there. Offline NT2000 XP Vista 7 uh, password changes. So I'll give it a go. Yeah, just I'll just hit enter. This seems to be booting a Linux kernel. And now we've got some some options. So you can see that you found two partitions over here. There's partition one and partition two. Partition one is having 100 megs. So it seems to be the recovery partition from Windows. This partition two, it's about 500 gigs. So that will be our system. So 
we select partition by number yeah so we are just going to to select a second partition because that's where our windows is yeah it have just mounted it it assume that we've got MTFS file system it have found some problems with it it tells it's dirty so basically it needs to uh, have a check this run on it yeah basically what I did I've just pressed the button when I was when I was uh, switching off the system and uh, that have <laughs> basically tell it it's dirty so I'll just ignore that and I'll just go and uh, and force it which is fine I'm not I don't have any files which are all saved or anything like that so that's fixed now step two select path and register files so we have found a windows path as windows which is where the system normally is system32 is found over there as well config file next config there where you would expect it to be and it's asking us now was the uh, path for register directory I would say I would go with defaults that's where I would expect it to be now what we've got now it's asking us what we want to load over there from the registry because it found the registry which is good it's got all the components so we'll try to reset password that way uh, so yeah let's go with the uh, registry password reset so now it's asking us what we want to do we can edit user data and passwords register detail as well or we can just quit over here so I'll just go with edit user data and passwords and now we've got our users over here and you can see that there is a there's a user Steve that we've been trying to that we've seen this account when we've been trying to boot this laptop so I'll just try to get rid of his password so I'll just enter his name Steve over here now hit enter now it's asking us what we can do with it there are four failed login attempts for this username it's administrator so yeah so basically I'll just try to clean his password and see what will happen so yeah I'll try to unlock the user account which is option 4 now I'll go back to managing Steve here we go and I'll clean his password yeah password cleared and hopefully, fingers crossed, that should do it. That should allow us to load the windows and see if it's all working fine. So exclamation mark for quit. Letter Q for quit. And now we are writing back changes to the disk. So I'll just hit yes. Enter. Edit uh, complete. All, all data written no new run right exit now done so now I can switch it off and switch it back on again I'll just eject my yeah, I've just ejected my here and boot CD. So we're back to normal Windows. <laughs> it actually came back with error recover. Okay, so I'll just start to I'll try to start it normally. And we'll see what will happen. So yeah, Windows have booted up right now. There's a login prompt.
Right, this screen was a bit dirty. So yeah, here we go. It doesn't even ask me for the password now. That's nice. Ha! Huh. Look at that. Yeah. Well, it made it. We got full access. No user account password. No problems, no nothing. Now I can see and check. Oh yeah. Let's have a look. Because Windows complaining about the problem here. Oh. Yeah, it tells we had a we had a blue screen at some point. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Yeah, it seems everything is working fine. Windows have loaded the point where we can navigate through it. Everything seems to be working fine. So yeah, if you ever have a problem with your password or you just forgot it or it's like you just buy a laptop with some uh, crappy password on it, that's the way how to do it. Okay. Right, I've got my Alienware laptop working. Um, it looks really cool. Thank you very much for watching guys. And if you like to see my other videos, I'm just doing all sorts of the computer stuff over there. So please click like on this video if you like it. Thank you very much for all your comments. Any questions, feel free to put them under this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.